Okay, YouTubers, I'm going to share my top secret information on lint logs. Lint logs are the perfect fire starter because they require very few bought materials. I bought this package or this container of gel wax and I have made probably 50 cotton balls out of this thing and it's still over half full. This is basically what you would melt down to make candles in like the clear containers, the clear glass containers. It's just sort of like, feels like silicone. One of our goals here is to use recycled materials for fire starters, so that's one of my goals. I'm going to show you an experiment using ta -da, lint and my wife is out of town so I'm using one of her pots so she can't get mad at me until she comes back into town but this is some dryer lint that I harvested before and this dryer lint I haven't harvested yet obviously so I just pulled the, the dryer vent out of the dryer and what I'm going, going to do is it seems kind of thin so I'm going to use this too on top of it. But what I'm going to do is just try to do this one-handed. I'm going to kind of roll this up and really you really want this to be thicker. This is kind of thin and, and I'm not suggesting that you let your dryer vent become inefficient or your dryer but it's better if it's a little thicker so what I'm going to do is take the dryer lint and unroll it I've got one of these disposable aluminum pans here with some wax paper and what I'm going to do is just leave it in there like that I'm going to leave a little section kind of rolled up because one mistake you can make is getting this too wet. So you need, you need some dry areas as you roll it up. So I'm not even going to do the back. I'm just going to streak this with gel wax. And this is an experiment, so we're going to find out how it works. One of the problems I have with, say, you know, cotton balls or uh, even um, charcoal is that, and I'm not a big fat liberal, okay? I'm big and fat, but I'm not a liberal. So don't get me wrong, I'm not a tree hugger. But I've seen people take t-shirts and put them in the oven for 10 hours on like 800 degrees. <laughs> and it's crazy, you know, just to get something to start a fire with. That could have started 10,000 fires with the energy that they used to make charcoal. Well, guess what? This is just as flammable. It actually ignites quicker and it's recycled material, dryer lint. So, again, not trying to, you know, save the world. I'm just trying to be practical here. This is free material, okay? And I don't have to use a lot of energy creating it. So, let me get some of this stuff in here and get it melted. This is fun. It's almost safe. The other reason you want to leave some dry area is because this gel wax is hard to light ignite on its own. If you get this too wet, it'll be hard to light. So what you want to do is leave some dry areas on the ends, you know, to spark to use your uh, ferro rod to spark it, get it going. This this uh, lint will will light very easily if you have some dry area. 
Okay, I think I'm almost ready here. They get fully melted. The other thing I'm going to do, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have some extra, is go ahead and make some extra cotton balls. And again, what you want to do is leave a little dry spot. And when I say dry, I just mean without gel. Because when the gel dries, it's going to be just like this. It's going to be hard. It's not going to be wet. But it's going to be hard to light. You know, if, it, if the whole thing's covered. So you want to leave a little area that's nice and fresh. So and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, here we go. We have to do this one-handed. So, so what you want is just to dribble it on there. You can see I'm trying to leave the edges where it's not soaked. What you're trying to do is just create a situation where some of the lint is covered and some is not. So you'll have some area to ignite. I'm hoping this is not soaking through too much on the back. So now what you want to do is just roll this. Ouch, that's hot. Be careful. I haven't perfected this, obviously. But you want to... Okay, I think I got too much gel wax. So what I'm going to do is take some of this extra lint I'm actually just going to lay it in there and roll it up with it. So it'll create some dryer. Because as that, as, it, as you light it and it melts, it's going to spread through the lint. Oh boy. Okay, that kind of turned out how I wanted it. I wanted some dry area on the outside of it. And as it cools now, it'll kind of become sort of all one piece, but you'll have intertwined, you know, layers that have gel wax on it, layered with dry areas. So hopefully the, you know, you'll be able to get oxygen permeated through the log as you're using it. Can't wait to test this baby. I still have gel wax left over. So what I'm going to do is I don't know, if, I'm going to try to use these skewer, skewers as chopsticks. My wife's going to kill me if she finds out. But you can see, I'm only doing, like the top, I'm leaving the top dry. Because again, if you don't leave, if you don't leave a dry spot on it, or a, I'm calling it a dry spot, but it's really a spot without gel wax because once this gel wax sets up, it'll be like silicone or gel. I dare anybody to do this one-handed. <laughs> All right, you two are going in there together. Now see, this one was just sitting in there, but I'm gonna pull it out without dunking it. So if you're going to just plop them in there, make sure that your gel wax is only about half as deep as the thickness of the cotton ball. Okay, because all you're trying to do really is create something that's going to burn for about five minutes and these will. I've had these burn for eight to ten minutes. Just so you'll have something to start a fire in a wet condition. You know, if it's dry outside, you just grab some dry tinder and light it. But this is for your wet tinder conditions. <laughs> Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa. You guys are gonna freak when you see how long these burn.
my pot's getting kind of empty, so now I'm having to, I'm having to kind of roll them around a little bit. Can't talk tonight for some reason. Okay, let's let these set up, and we'll go from there. One thing I forgot to mention is do not let this get overheated. If it starts to smoke, turn the temperature down. And also, the nice thing about this is if you have leftover, you can just pour it back in your tub and it will, it will re-gel and you can use it over. So there's very little waste. Now the problem is your pot's pretty much wasted <laughs> because and I'll, I'll buy my wife a new pot because you know you're gonna have to use this for gel wax from now on because that little film in there won't come out unless you scrape it. So you might as well have a dedicated pot for this. Okay, let's go test these babies. Okay guys, it got dark on me, so I'm, but I'm going to go ahead and do a test anyway. See how it works. If it doesn't work out, I will do it again tomorrow. I have just took off a chunk. So let me take my ferro rod. Wake in the night to a soft voice calling. Slowly shed my garments of sleep. Drawn to the garden along a dark passage, I draw back the curtain to mystical light. In luminous moonlight, fine rain is falling. Naked, I kneel on the lawn. wet and silvered. Raise my eyes to flooding white. I am the moon's bride waiting in celestial chambers. I am many points of fusing light. Parts of me tremble in the moon's ring of rain. In strange silence, I wait. Parts of me tremble in the moon's ring of rain. I wait in reverence. Wake in the night to a soft voice calling. Slowly.
slowly shed my garments of sleep. Drawn to the garden along a dark passage, I draw back the curtain to mystical light. In luminous moonlight, fine rain is falling. Naked, I kneel on the lawn. Wet and silvered. Raise my eyes. I am the moon's bride, waiting in celestial chambers. I am many points of fusing light, parts of me tremble in the moon's ring of rain. In strange silence, Hearts of me tremble in the moon's ring of rain. I wait in reverence for her voice. Okay, so I'm actually impressed with my burn test. I only used about an inch and a half off the end of that log. So I could probably get maybe three more pieces out of this. So you're looking at 45 minutes with the fire starter there. Very cool. I always grab me a Ziploc bag. And I put all my cotton balls in there. A lint log. They're set up so they're not wet anymore. So you can get all the air out of there. You've got a very compact. Just wanted to share that with you guys. And uh, go to the hobby store. Get you some gel wax. Make you some wet fire starter. Thanks, guys.